Well, more apples. We're going to save a few for eating, but uh, probably by tomorrow evening, this is going to be all applesauce. Stay tuned. Yeah, if I can get my fingers out of the way. Okay, so we got the big stock pot going. I mean, here's my hand for reference. It's uh, maybe a five gallon pot, four gallon. So uh, I think it was my niece was asking, how much water is this gonna be too hot? How much water is in here? Well, you know, here's a piece of apple. And uh, get out of the way, guys. Yeah, not even halfway. Not even halfway up the apple, so so maybe a half an inch of water in the bottom of the pan before you start. And as you can see, we're leaving the peels on. And Mama is processing apples, just slicing them down with the cores. Throwing them over in the pan. Took a while, but she's finally getting it going on with the uh, Wolfgang Puck chef's knife. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I was watching the action instead of watching the camera. That's how we do it. And our neighbor's chickens is going to have some sweet treats here in another day or two. Maybe tomorrow we'll be over there. And uh, those hens can't get enough of this stuff. Alrighty. We'll be back later. Yeah, all those apples that was in the sink are now in the pot. We'll just come over and give them a stir every once in a while. But no water has been added, just apples. And there's all the apple cores. And we'll probably drop those off at the uh, chickens tomorrow sometime. Yum, yum, yum. Good stuff. Is these apples are off the same tree as the batch of uh, stuff that we made early, late last week. And I had some of the applesauce before we turned it into fruit roll-ups. And it did not need anything added at all. They were just perfectly sweet all by themselves. And this is the same apples from the same trees. So we shall see. Later. 18 pints with one oddball. We ran out of regular mouth jars. Oh, that one just popped. But 18 pints of applesauce fresh out of, not the pressure canner, we use it for a water bath. 15 minutes at a boil and now it's sitting out to cool and we have 18 pints. There's two pints in the fridge that uh, were not uh, were not boiled. That was just uh, cold pack jars. We're gonna just eat those out of the fridge. That's not a big deal. Actually, that's gonna be my dad's. These had nothing but water added to them for the boil to get them mushed, and then we ran them through. Uh, where is it? Ran them, ran them through this. You know, sieved them out, and now we have very very fine sauce. The squeezins are in the freezer going out for the chickens. But uh, yeah, got applesauce. That's plenty for the winter right there. We may not be doing any more apples because they're just about all done. But we do know a couple places where we can go and get more if we want to. But we got to buy more jars first. Okay, that's it. Final segment. I'm going to put this in, uh, start processing it and get it posted up as soon as I can. Hope you enjoyed, but oh, I did want to mention, sorry, going back, nothing added, no sugar, just boiled them. Uh, that big pot over here had like this much water in the bottom and then nothing, but then we put in all the apples. It was one of them full canvas Hannaford shopping bags. I mean, it was full. Um, you saw the pictures in the beginning, the first, I mean, the apples were piled this high in the sink and still had some out. We saved some to eat, but almost all of them went in the canners. They're all jarred up. Super sweet, because the apples are mostly Macintosh. There's a couple other varieties, but predominantly Max. And uh, yeah, just boiled them in water. No sugar added, nothing, just apples. And of course you condense them down like this, 
and it just concentrates the sugars. This is a little bit of cinnamon when you uh, dish it up, and that's all you're ever going to want on this. Okay, that's it. This time I really mean it. See you later. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.